Hello World Farmy, this is Jaden from Jaden's Videos, and this is my man-eating plant Halloween prop build part one. Um, so this prop is going to be, in my opinion, a really cool prop, and it is for Nightmare House 2016, one of the new scenes which I just decided on, and this is a final scene, like where it's it's decided that it's gonna stay like that uh, it's gonna be called carnivorous garden so it's gonna be a garden with statues such as maybe I'll buy I untimely death for it cemetery angel will go in there old statues um, and stuff and it, there's gonna be a bunch of man eating plants and vines overrunning the garden like there's carnivorous giant carnivorous plants in there so I've always thought those are really cool Halloween monsters carnivorous plants they're just really creepy and they're just really cool. Maybe I'll have some legs kicking out of the mouth of some of them. But this is um, my first and the main carnivorous plant that is going to be in there. And this is the basic, a pretty basic one actually, um, which I've decided on for this. Uh, now, as you guys can see, <laughs> barely there's barely anything here. But this is only part one. I just wanted to show you guys pretty much the basic idea for it. And I'll show you what it would look like in the scene too. I'll put it somewhere in my yard that has a lot of vines just to show you pretty much the basic idea of this. This is going to be uh, a little like six and a half feet tall. Right now it's not that big. Um, uh, I'll take it down from here so you can see the actual height of the prop. Uh, I'll set it somewhere away from all this noise. And it is very lightweight too. I'll set it in my prop working area, prop making area. Um, so as you can see, it's very small right now. Uh, I got the measuring tape. I can measure the height. Just give me a second. I will measure this height. For you guys. It is four foot two at the time, so not very big yet. But of course, there is going to be a big, giant head on this thing, which might have some legs kicking out of it, or that might be another one that I might do that with. Now, this one is going to be one that's just going to be sitting on the ground. Um, there's going to be some in flower pots too, but this is going to be the main one and the biggest one, uh, the six and a half foot one. Now. As you can see down here, I was actually making, the reason things are different sizes is I was actually making a, uh, I made a uh, skeletal elf prop for Scary Christmas and I was in the middle of making an evil Santa prop for Scary Christmas, but they kept falling apart because they were not sturdy enough. So I decided, whoa, I decided to get better materials for those props and use the materials that I was going to use in those props on this prop. Um, and this prop is going to be much easier since pretty much this is the basic stand it doesn't have all those different joints and stuff so and it's got a base um, so this is the base I, I know it's kind of weird how it's like a a plus sign instead of a T for that but I need to save some T's like for that right there where it comes up sorry about all the excess noise around it's just I'm outside of course so this is the stand, which will help the stability. As you can see, it stands really well with this stand. Now I might have to make improvements to the stand, which I'm glad I put these plus signs because I might have to have some stuff coming off of those. Because once it gets the head on it, it will be much heavier. And once it gets the great stuff, and I'll go into more detail with that in a little bit. But here's the stand. It's pretty basic, just to give it some stability. And then the actual body goes up. And that is just one big PVC pipe for the body. And that's how I'm going to keep it too. Because it's actually over the size that it was going to be. Because it was originally going to be 6 foot. But I just, I didn't really feel like cutting this. I was like, okay, it would actually be better if it was bigger. So this is 4 foot 2. Well, including this. But that that's, that's only gives on like 2 inches. So it's actually like a 4 foot tall pipe. Um... And yes, it is way below me. I got the camera held by my nose, of course. So that it's at level to my nose and my eyes. So 
So this is that, and I will tell you what the other plans for this are going to be. The bottom, there's going to be some, there's going to be great stuff on the base too. There's going to be a lot of great stuff down there on the base, and that is going to be spray painted brown for soil. And there's also going to be possibly some fake. Um, it's going to be spray painted brown and blackish for soil. So it looks like, so when it's on the ground, it looks like that's a part of the ground, but it's actually a part of the prop just to cover up the base. And um, it will have some fake plants stuck in it too. And then this body is going to be covered with some great stuff that is going to be spray painted green for the body. Um, I'll try to pull up a picture real quick of a man-eating plant so you can see inspiration. Okay, you can't really see this, but this one is Audrey 2 from the Little Shop of Horrors horror movie. So kind of drawing some inspiration from that, from that. Drawing inspiration from all sorts of different things. Um, but as you can see, their bodies have like a viney look. So the great stuff is going to help with that. As you can see in that one, definitely. Um, now I can probably type in man-eating plant Halloween prop and see what I got and see what we got here. Okay, so these ones are pretty basic. These are made out of pumpkins, actually, so that's not what I'm drawing inspiration from. As you can see, like that one, it's got kind of a viney look. I could probably type in creepy plant, too, and see what we got. Um, because I'm also drawing inspiration for the body from other type of, uh, creepy looking plants. Like, I've seen some with, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. I gotta type in crop. Sorry if the camera isn't that good right now, but I'm trying to type stuff in, of course. Okay, so we got, like, this has, like, a viney... These all have like viney type looks, and I know there was one on Pinterest actually that I saved, so I'm going to get to that. There's a Pinterest one that I saved because it was really cool, and it had, they used great stuff for it. Yeah, there it is. Actually, is that that one? I don't know. Hold on. Halloween. I've got a whole thing for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see they use great stuff for this. You can tell. I might make a plant like that, too. But you can tell they use great stuff. I've got a few of them on here that I had for inspiration. other Halloween stuff, you know, just for, I'm going to scroll down to some of the older ones I had on here. Okay, this is the same one, but this is the main one I'm drawing inspiration for the body from. I'm also going to make some in pots and stuff like I said, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole idea, basic idea of it. So I'm probably going to, this prop is probably going to be finished by today. Um, most likely, because it's a very easy prop, um, can probably get it done in a few hours, like, it's straight on, not including time going to the store to buy great stuff and spray paint, but straight on, like, the time it will take, I would say, like, I don't know, two, two to three hours, two to three, I say, because it's got to dry and stuff like that, and also, I got to figure out how to do this head, which I'm probably going to start working on soon, if I could figure that out, and sorry, I'm going to... A call on Skype, probably from you guys, actually. Yep, it's from you guys. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for other prop builds, and stay tuned for the comp uh, other prop builds in this series of this uh, prop that I'm building, because I think it's going to be pretty cool. <coughs> so keep howling at the moon, my werewolves. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.